Hello, Aries. This is your July 2021. So, Aries, uh, for the month of July, it seems that there's going to be an opportunity for you to be able to get to know someone better. There's also something that's going to come up that is going to allow you, allow you the freedom to look at something not so much from a negative point of view, but from something that is quite mm, mysterious. You're going to look at it from a, a point of view of understanding. It's something that you're already ordained for. It's like, or it's ordained for you. There are divine connections that you're going to be reaching. There's so many good things that are going to outweigh the pain of your disappointments that you've had in the past. In the month of July, your deficits will end up leaving. You're going to find out that your future is going to surpass with what you're dealing with now. You're going to be able to also, during the month of July, obtain either a new identity somehow, meaning that you're going to see yourself in a different way. You're going to finally start giving yourself the credit that you deserve. You're going to start looking yourself as the valuable piece of diamond that you are. You know, for a lot of you, you might have felt like things were against you. You might have felt like everything just keeps going the opposite way. A lot of you definitely may have lost your faith where God is concerned, feeling like maybe he forgot you or maybe he's not hearing you when you're praying. The time has to be right for the God and the universe to put things in your path. People will come in in the month of July and it will not be by mistake. It will be because it is destined for you to cross paths with these people, to learn different things from each one of them. Some of you are going to find out in the month of July that there's going to be an older woman who speaks very wise words to you. Out of the blue, this person, it's going to feel like when they walk away, you're going to feel like an angel had just visited you. This person is going to have you pretty much weeping at night when you're going to sleep knowing that you have just recently been blessed, knowing that that person came there to speak to you, not by accident, not by chance, but by choice, that the universe chose that person to bring certain messages to you to help you to get through the storm that you were facing. July is going to be very exciting, whether it's either you're floating and floating on, on the water in a float, or you're floating, meaning that things are going to just breeze through. You're just going to slide by or glide by. You're going to be able to get through things without any struggle. For a lot of you, you're going to even things out. You're going to find the balance again in work, home, pleasure, relationships, family. You have to believe that <clears throat> you were destined to find a happy life, a good partner, to be financially secure, to not have to worry about debt, to be able to have the family that you've desired. Now, I also want you to understand that in July, it's going to be important to first understand yourself before you can get involved with a relationship and a partner again. For some of you going back to someone from the past, for some of you going with somebody new, you must first examine yourself. You must really know yourself very well before you can expect someone else to know you. You're going to see something very, very clear. Something is going to be made very, very clear to you. Someone is going to ask you to consider something. Also, remember to treat yourself as good as you treat other people. When you're not treating yourself the way that others treat you, then you can never change the way things are. Your actions are your powerful thoughts. So you must treat yourself with kindness. A lot of you have been so 
tough on yourselves. You have been your own worst enemy. And the only person you've been battling is you. For a lot of you, it's important to find the happiness within you. Someone else can't be responsible for your happiness in the month of July. You must first fill yourself up. Otherwise, you have nothing to give anybody else. Some of you might be feeling bad about yourself or about choices or decisions that you've made in the past. You cannot undo time and you cannot undo the past. But what you can do is make a difference now. Find different ways to do things now. For some of you, you're allowed past situations to dictate your future. It's time to now take back your power, <clears throat> make the necessary changes that are meant for you. For a lot of you, you're going to run into uh, opportunities where you're going to find um, strangers inviting you in, wanting to show you something. For some of you, it might be in reference to sales or customer service. For some of you, you're, you're going to pretty much feel like somebody's got a trick up their sleeve because things are going to be so easy for you. Somebody's going to want to smother you with hugs and kisses, so to speak. There's also going to be a lot of laughter. So whether you go to a show, a comedy show, maybe a movie or something that brings a lot of joy to you, a lot of humor, um, this is what's going to make the difference. It's finding a place to go other than just going to work and going home and going to work and going home. There's many different things that are going to be shifting and, and bringing different elements towards you. You'll also be dealing with a lot of fire signs or a lot of earth signs. A lot of you are going to begin to change your focus in the month of July, which is really good because that'll change your frequency. It'll change your vibration. For some of you, doors begin to open very quickly at your job, offering you the opportunity or changes in your work area. For a lot of you, there is an aunt, a special aunt or somebody who you think of often that you need to get in touch with that you haven't spoken to in quite some time. There's also going to be um, yeah, it's it's either a, a, maybe a sister or a brother or somebody who you look at as a sister or a brother. This person has been missing you. This person needs you and needs your help right now. They may not need you financially, but they need your emotional support. You're going to find out how powerful you really are once you have filled yourself and how much you can help someone else. Your goals always seem to be about helping other people. You guys are very generous from the heart. There's also, for some of you, whether we're talking about the same sex or, or opposite, I don't care. What I'm trying to tell you is, is Aries, that there's definitely an interest, a love interest around you. For some of you, you were playing back and forth with people that were just too immature to handle a situation, too silly to be able to get serious about something. Somebody may have misled you in the recent past and making you believe they wanted to get to know you or get involved with you or be with you, and then they let you down. They kind of ghosted right in the beginning. This person may have gaslighted you as well. This is not the type of relationship that you're looking for. Some of you are wondering why you've been single so long and wondering what's taken so long for the universe to bring somebody towards you. It was because you were not ready. When you are ready, that universe will push somebody right there in front of you. And you can't help but see them. You will not miss the opportunity. For a lot of you, there's going to be times that you want to stay bitter about a certain situation. And then there's going to be times where you're going to say, you know what? All this bitterness is just, it's not getting me anywhere. And it's making me feel sick and ill and tired. Some of you are going to find a way to release things that you can't change. You can't change people or things that they've done. All you can do is forgive them and move forward. For some of you, there may be somebody in the past that tried to break you. Tried to take everything from you. Tried to make you feel worthless. That person did not succeed. Although, yes, there was some damage done temporarily. 
you were able to grow from that and you were able to rise again. There is going to be an outstanding amount of support and encouragement around you in the month of July. For some of you, there's a partner that's been wanting to come back with you. Somebody who's been wanting to communicate, wanting to get something off their chest, wanting to just make something better. Excuse me, I feel like this person has been missing you for quite some time. This person may have made bad choices and went with someone else. This person may have had you involved in a third party situation. But this person who you thought was appearing to be happy now without you is in fact miserable. This person can't get you off of their mind. They have tried over and over to not think about you, not think about what you've had, not think about what you've done together. But this person can't win that way. This person is definitely missing you and needing to communicate, needing to start over. So for those of you who are missing somebody, those of you who feel like you got kicked in the butt, so to speak, just know that good things are still about to happen in your future. Know that this person is wanting to come back if you're willing to try again. For some of you, you may have either lost a child, lost a baby. But for some of you, that child or that baby is a guardian angel that is still around you. Be aware that that, that child knows its name, knows who you are, knows who its father is or mother is. It knows what kind of life it would have had if it was able to stay. But this child is now protecting over you. For some of you, it, it does feel like you're, you're thinking about other people on the other side, whether it's a mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, cousin, even boyfriend, girlfriend. They are able to watch you and see you and hear you. So talk to them if you feel you need some closure or you needed to tell them something before they left. Speak to them because they can hear you. When you call their name, they automatically get a bell ring and they know it's you. For some of you, in your mind or in your mindset, I know you're dwelling still on heartbreak or a heartache that had happened. But just know that even though things may have not been fair to you, there's still something for you to harvest that's coming. There's still going to be things that tip the kind of like tip the scales in your favor. For a lot of you, your purpose has not been met yet. The reason that you're here on this earth, you are still in the middle of completing why you are here. For some of you, it's to continue your education and schooling. For some of you, it's going to get married and have your own family. For some of you, it may be about a lot of traveling because that may be what you want to do. Some of you may work for the airlines as well. This is going to be part of the wide spectrum which is coming towards you. And again, there is going to be a lot of new activity around you. The enthusiasm is going to get stronger and stronger. What seems to have been very boring and dull and maybe not productive in your recent past is going to change starting in the month of July. The month of July is going to be full of fireworks for you. It's also going to be full of sparks of love. Each spark will be an interest of somebody showing interest to you. Somebody's also going to ask you uh, to spend time with them, to hang out, to date. Somebody's going to find that they simply fall in love with you so easily without even trying. The worst is over and the best is yet to come. So I hope that all of you enjoyed your monthly for July. I look forward to seeing you on the lives very soon. Hope you all have a wonderful, happy rest of the weekend. And I look forward to doing this again in August. But meanwhile, I will see you on the lives once we come up to July 1st. So have a wonderful, wonderful day.